Well, hello there, greetings. Glad to be with you again. Matthew McDonald here, coming to you from Dubai, regardless of the t shirt I'm wearing. Now, today I've got a very quick little tutorial for you that will show you how do we set up those Facebook posts with WordPress. So, being able to add that metadata into your WordPress posts. A few of you were asking about it. Others of you were figuring it out and already doing it out there. But this tutorial will quickly walk you through the process of how we get these things set up. Here we are inside of WordPress and we're going to head over to the plugins. Now I've already got it installed here, but you'll need a plugin. You'll only need one plugin and it's called Head Meta. What you can do, you can just go to add new plugin and you can search for it and you can just install it right from here. Once you've got it installed, make sure you activate it and here I can see mine's already activated. Now once we've got that installed, we can go to our post and I'm just going to use this one here and down below here you should have custom fields now the custom fields feature is not enabled by the head meta plugin that's a default feature that's already built into the WordPress if you're fairly up to date if you don't see the custom field option here just scroll back up go to the top here where we can see screen options on the right hand side click that and just make sure you've got custom fields checked if that's unchecked you won't see the custom field options so make sure you tick that box scrolling down just going to clear that out now we need to put a name and we need to put a value for the name we're going to be using and if we have a look at the swipe file here I've got it here for you and you would have received this with the video otherwise it will be downloadable on this page we've got head, head underscore meta so I'm just going to copy that and we'll put that as the name and we're going to use that as the name for all of them and then we're going to grab the first one here which is our title okay now the second lot of meta tags you can see down here just ignore those if you're using WordPress for WordPress we only need these first three and possibly only two of the three which I'll cover in a minute so we'll grab the title property here I'm going to copy that whole thing and we're going to enter that as the value okay and we're going to put our title in between the double quotes at the end so content equals quote and then our title so check this out Check this out, just what you want to see. So that's going to be our title in our Facebook post. Click Add Custom Field. Let's keep going. Next one along, we've got here, we've got the description field. Now a quick word about the description field. If you're already using a SEO tool where you've got your meta description for the search engines in the page, you don't need to you don't need to add this description field this is the same field so it's already going to be using your description your existing description field that you've possibly set up for Google and other search engines if you're not using any search engine optimizing plugins and you not, have not set up a description field then definitely go ahead and use this description field and this is how you do it. So I'm going to copy here the description line. We'll go down here and we'll put here head meta again. And in the value, I'm just going to paste in that description field. And between the double quotes at the end, I'm going to put this is my description. Okay. You just put in your description there that's describing your post in a short form. Click Add Custom Field, 
and we've got one more to go and that's going to be our image property this one is very very important because it's the image that's really going to catch people's eye so let's copy that put in here for the name we're going to put head meta again in the value I'm just going to paste in that line of code there and between the top double quotes at the end I'm going to put in my image URL so paste in your image URL including the HTTP colon slash slash at the start of it and a great way to do that is just to co copy and paste the link directly to the image so we've got that in there I'm going to click add custom field and we're going to go and choose update post and let's have a look so here we go test WordPress let's have a look at the code so I'm using Chrome for this tutorial I'm just going to choose here view page source and down here we can see our meta content so there's our title there's our description and there's our image and you can see here is the closing head tag and we that means it's inside the header content so that's how you do it with WordPress and as I mentioned earlier you will need the head meta plugin which you can just install as you would any other plugin so that's how you fully customize your Facebook post with WordPress if you're not using WordPress then I've also included the tags here for you so if you're in Dreamweaver for instance you can just paste in um, that block of meta tags there into the head before the closing head tag but so there you go WordPress, fairly easy fairly straightforward if you need you can watch through. the video again and follow along to make sure you know how to do it now I do have a plugin on the way that's going to make it super easy for you to to set this up but in the meantime go ahead and do do it the way we just learnt in this tutorial so go and, go and have yourself a great day go and set up your WordPress with these Facebook posts and I'll see you in the next video